COVID-19, right? Yep. You gained 19 pounds. <laughs> Some people, COVID-30. Right. As, as the lockdown gets longer and longer, Okay, we have John here. Hi, John. Hello there. Okay. So John was just telling me you had a little incident? Yes. So you were hiking? or I was little... riding my bike. Oh, you were riding your bike. Okay. Um, I just came up to a you know stoplight, put my foot down on the curb to brace myself, uh -huh. and uh, it's you know kind of half on, half off, slipped off. Oh, really? And then it caused some pain. Uh -huh. Since then, it's been uh, weeping a bit. Yeah. So when was that? Uh, last Friday. Oh, okay. And then on Monday, Monday or Tuesday, I called you and got an appointment. Okay. Looks like this whole thing needs to be cleaned up. Is there any pain there? Or? No, nothing. Okay. How's your diabetes lately? Uh, it's been fine. Like, where do they, where do they run? Um... I don't know. I haven't had tested lately for uh, blood sugar. Um, I have gained some weight with the uh, with uh, the uh, working at home. Oh yeah. Do you have the kit yourself at home? Or? Yes, I do. So how often do you test it? Um, usually, usually every morning, but not for the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. But there hasn't really been a rise in my blood sugar. That I've no. I, no. I'm still eating well, I'm just eating too much. <laughs> really? <laughs> You're eating the good stuff though, not the bad stuff? Yeah, the good stuff, not the bad stuff. Uh huh. That's good. I just tend to, because it's, it's, because it's boring being at home all the time, I tend to graze during the day, so. Right. It's hard, it's hard these days. They call it COVID-19, right? Yep. You gain 19 pounds. <laughs> Some people, COVID-30. Right. As as the lockdown gets longer and longer, I think I'm, I think I'm almost at COVID nineteen. Probably COVID seventeen. COVID seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Looks like they're gonna lock down again. So. I know it. Looks like it's gonna be soon. It'll be COVID fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, we'll try and go the other way. Uh, hasn't been easy. Keeping a, you know, oh, mm -hmm. you're bleeding well, which is good. So, so you're bleeding pretty well. Just quiet. Um, this is in my chart. I, do, I am on blood thinners. So. Oh, you're on blood thinners, huh? Yeah. I think we have a, we have another audience here. We got a. <laughs> You got fl you got to fly around here. He's intrigued. Yeah, he wants to know what's happening. He's probably smelling something, you know. <laughs> what what blood thinner are you on? Zerelta. Oh, Zerelta. Okay. You've been on it for a long time. Uh, about a year. Oh, about a year. Okay. Is that for your heart mainly, or? No, uh, DVTs. I have. Uh, oh, you have DVTs too. I have clots in both legs. Yeah. Oh. So where were you going with your with your bike? I was uh, just out for some exercise, pretty much uh, headed down, bike down from uh, Delmont Shore to Newport Beach. Oh, okay. Uh, not Newport Beach, Newport. Yeah. That's a good distance, huh? South Newport, not not West Newport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then you have to come back because of this, or? Hmm. You have to come I back. Way, I was already on my way back. On the way back. Saying. Okay. Okay. So you you go you go biking like that. Mm -hmm. Long time or. Uh, this is my first time. Well, this is my first like major ride back out there probably since the. Since the, uh, lockdown. Uh huh. Most of my rides have been shorter, but this is about you know thirty five miles or so. So. Oh, that's a good. That's a good distance. Yeah, it was. Uh huh. And then, of course, this happened and I had to stop. I was like, great. Right, right. <laughs> so you haven't been on the bike since then? No. So you have a little blood thinner going, going on here. So it's bleeding quite a bit. So I'm just going to compress a little bit and see. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful, huh? With yes. that, Because you don't want to get any cut or anything. Correct. 
So you're bleeding well, which is the purpose of this. So we cleaned it out all this area. So you're doing some bleeding still, but it's it's managed control. So I'm just gonna bandage it up right now. So we're gonna clean it again. I'm gonna modify your support here. You can see that there was a pad that I put before, but I'm gonna put another pad here to really take pressure off. You can see that. You can see there's that yes. pressure points there. So I'm gonna put another pad here to take more pressure off, okay? okay. So I'm gonna see you next week and then we're gonna clean it out again and then go from there, okay? Good. So I'm gonna put a really good compressive dressing. I'm gonna put some antibiotic cream first and I'm gonna put... That's what I've been using, is that the SSD? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I've been using. Oh, I still have some left from what I took for. You, you still have some, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put uh, quite a bit of dressing on it because and I give you a different kind of shoes. You probably won't be able to go home with that okay. particular shoe. I'm just going to wrap it up real good. And then give you a different shoe to take pressure off this area. Okay. Gotcha. So you may be bleeding here because you're on blood thinner. So I'm going to put a lot of bandage on it <laughs> in case. If it seeps through and you can see some blood, just leave it alone. Don't take it off. Okay. Okay. Because it's just going to stop bleeding next uh, next hour or so probably before then should i still change in the morning uh yes by that by the morning you'll be fine just okay. a little dressing will be fine i'm just gonna put more bandage here So it's a little tight because of the bleeding, sure. okay? And then I'm gonna modify that little support a little bit and I'm gonna see you next week and we'll see how it looks, okay? Okay. Thanks, John, for allowing me to film this today. No worries.